We've got a growing population, but we're killing the land. It is madness. Madness. Yeah. Anyway, Cap Boyd! Hi, everyone. Um, Lake Perry, the last time I was here, the chimneys had no smoke coming out of them. There was no flames coming out of Grangemouth. As the owner of Ineos had held the workers there to ransom, he stripped them of their right to a decent pension and decent pay. He sat their representatives and he wants to de-recognise their union. Jim Ratcliffe has no respect for the workers that make him a billionaire. And he has no respect for the land that we stand on either. Only a few weeks ago, it was announced that Ineos would invest in fracking in Scotland, a process that not only jeopardises the environment, but lives as well. And there are countless tales, stories of families made ill from toxic waste, of their water being poisoned and their land destroyed. But this is symbolic of a wider trend. We live in a world where the rights of men like Jim Ratcliffe to make profit are held in higher regard than our rights to sustainable energy. We live in a world where it's more important for any of us to have the right to desecrate our environment than for us to have the right to a green future. That's not the type of world that I want to live in. That is not the type of world that we deserve. We have a capacity for a bright future. We have so much potential for green, renewable energy, and we need to fight to unleash that potential. And until Grangemouth, until our energy industry, and until the land that we stand upon is under the collective ownership of ordinary citizens, we will not give up that fight. We will not give up that fight against any company, any corporation or any politician who undermines our right to a future that is sustainable and fair. And across the world, protests like this are happening. They're happening everywhere. This is an international movement. We are standing here with people across the world making a call for climate justice. We join them and when we stand with them and when we stand together today, when we fight together, we can win together. And no one, no matter their status, their party or their bank balance can take that from us. Frack off Jim Ratcliffe!